Okay, y'all, here's my uh, fish tank post-vacation. So uh, we went on a four-night, five-day vacation. I'm at Walt Disney World, which was pretty fun. Uh, right now I'm dethawing some food. If you're wondering what this cup is, it is the following day. So this is the sixth day since I fed these guys last. Um, you know, the tank has got quite a bit of algae on it. Just wanted to show you what the tank looks like after the fact. So here's the algae on the side. Can get shot from over here if you can kind of see it the window makes it pretty challenging to see but it's right there um let's see we've got some algae on like the front of the glass here and there the snails are keeping up with some of it you can tell um, but the diatoms are still in bloom i still need to consider getting a sand sifting star on the bottom there i heard that was uh, those were good based on the YouTube comments in the last video. Um, maybe like a algae eating blenny in here. I mean like a lawnmower blenny or something because these rocks are still fuzzy. Um, this one's not as bad maybe, I don't know. Um, the star polyps are still doing great back there. They're still trying to grow and come back. So as long as the algae doesn't take them over, I think they'll make it. Um, and then the zinnia, Ooh, man, the camera's way blown out there for a minute. The zinnia is looking beautiful now, um, just as always. Uh, the light just came on, by the way, so this is like, lights came on like 10 minutes ago. Um, you can even see this coral here, who's always open, is close. <laughs> and uh, the auto top-off, surprisingly, the auto top-off stayed mostly full. So this is a two and a half gallon bucket, and it's kind of hard to see in here. But it's full uh, up to about two inches from the top there. So uh, two inches from the top for, you know, a... Uh, Five day uh, trip is pretty good. So, if you guys need, if y'all need an auto top off solution, if two and a half gallon bucket inside a uh, cool room is is pretty good because we're uh, we're downstairs. Uh, it is Florida, but the AC was on like seventy eight, so it uh, kept it not too bad. Um, so the Miss Bar Clown here is doing pretty good. The uh, Blood Orange Clown really hard to get a shot of him because he moves so much and the light like the Kessel light if he was farther back in the tank I could get a pretty good shot of him back up buddy <laughs> there we go but uh, he's doing good he's still got a little bit of fuzzies on him but I don't want to dip him unless I have to so I'm gonna see if he can get over it naturally Slurpee's still doing great he is uh man if I can focus on these fish holy cow ah uh, there we go kind of <laughs> Yeah, they're doing great. They're great little fish. They get along really well. Sometimes they'll fight quite a bit. Why is my camera going nuts, man? Sometimes they'll fight a little bit uh, when I feed them. But uh, what's cool is Slurpee's now eating mysis shrimp. Like, they'll eat full-blown mysis shrimp, no problem. Um, and the Miss Bar Clown uh, Mocha is also eating mysis shrimp, obviously, because clowns are pretty easy to feed. Um, they're pretty chill now that I've got them eating. <laughs> But yeah, that's it guys. So if you wanted to see what the tank looks like after a five day vacation with no maintenance, uh, that's what it looks like.